druhý po zápasu rozhovor dnešního desátého hracího kola. Tentokrát tady máme junglera a subit. Thanks, thanks. Hello and uh, welcome to hey, the interview. Thanks for coming and congrats on the win versus uh, DNE. I think it was a pretty convincing performance uh, from you. How would you rate your game and uh, what are your feelings after this one? Mm, I think, how to say, we could have stumped them harder. They didn't really do too much. So mm -hmm. I don't think we played necessarily bad, but we could also have done more. Uh, I think some fights should have went like more in our favor and then it should have looked like quite a bit more dominating. But I don't think we were ever at a point where we could lose the game, which is always nice. So it was kind of just chill. Mm -hmm. Playing league. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I view this game uh, pretty, pretty similarly, and also a bit uh, back in time uh, regarding last week because uh, the loss versus Sampe was uh, quite rough. Yeah. So maybe uh, tell me a bit about how you personally or the whole team dealt with that. Uh, were there some struggles, or was it uh, pretty easy to just uh, leave it out and uh, start uh, start out uh, clean again in the next round? I mean, I think you can never take losses too hard because I think in league you can always lose, especially with the meta now. Like, I think a lot changed with the static shift and a lot of new mm. champions just randomly pop into the meta that's so defining and uh, I dare to say broken. Uh, so I think we just kind of went into scrims with the mindset that clearly we're not playing like super amazing, but also it's not the end of the world. So we just kind of like focused on what we didn't do as good and, and took it from there. Uh, I think it became a bit more, uh, how to say, it became a bit more consistent in the games that we played now, mm. um, but still some things that we need to to change a bit, but it worked out. Mm -hmm. And uh, also uh, for this game, you went uh, for a quite uh, straightforward, forward, uh, streamlined uh, 5v5 uh, team composition. Yeah. So is that something uh, maybe that uh, you uh, that you took account uh, that you were not so consistent the loss for Sampe, so you just went for a more simpler draft, that just that one one idea that you had to execute well, or uh, is it not connected to this? I think with how enemy team drafted, they kind of forced us to do it in mm -hmm. a way. Like uh, they early picked Sundra and Draven, so we just picked the Javan, and then we want to match something with Javan that makes sense. Uh, like I don't think this is our style or anything. It's just kind of how the the game turned out in draft. But also, I think in uh, hit points masters, none of the teams really understand side lane properly. So mm -hmm. if you are winning mid lane, it's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean uh, that's pretty much it. I don't think it was anything like we we yeah. planned. I see. Okay. Well, thanks for the insight. And uh, also uh, regarding or uh, let's talk a, a bit about this split, maybe compared to the last split. How uh, do you think that your synergy grew uh, in the team? Because uh, Special and this game, I think uh, we could see that uh, you played uh, together uh, pretty well. Uh, so, how have you, you, know, you personally and as a team, been uh, growing uh, during your time in Esuba? I mean, we have just time, more time to get to know each other. Uh, I think we did pretty well at the EU Masters, but if we want to do do better now, I think it just depends on how much effort we put in. Uh, like. The more time you spend together, usually the more comfortable you get with each other and you can kind of tell what you think. You can tell each other honestly what you think is wrong rather than uh, just bullshit your way through it. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I guess that always helps. Now we just need to, you know, get our act together for the playoffs and then take it from there. Okay, yeah, that's uh, good to hear. And uh, with that, I kind of follow into uh, the also other matches, but especially our duel versus Entropic that's coming at the end of the regular split. How are you excited yes. to play against Entropic? And uh, um, how do you feel about uh, this match? Uh, will, you, will, will you take it this time? I mean, it's always fun to play against Entropic because I think it's the, the other team that kind of like tries to play the, the map similar to what we do. Um, so it's a bit more of a challenge, so it's like people are a bit more on edge, it's more mm -hmm. fun to play. Uh, I think we can definitely win, even though our track record hasn't been the best lately. <laughs> uh, but I think for us it's more about the playoffs than the, the regular season. Like That's when we really want to put on our tryhard game. Okay, and uh, just now for the ending, can I think you'd like to say to the Esuba or your fans, uh, now's your time. I mean, thanks for cheering for us, and I hope you'll continue, and we'll give you a good run in the playoffs, and then hopefully in the EU Masters. <laughs> That's it. Okay, I hope so, and uh, I wish you good luck in your future matches, and hopefully at the EMEA Masters. And uh, it was a pleasure having you here. Thanks. Uh, good luck, and Thank uh, you. see you next time. Uh, to bit of thanks, uh, Junglers, Esubi, po vítězném zápase. Ať jste celé zhrneme v Mastercard, tak si tohoto zápasu.